Congratulations on this. My God, I don't even Thanks. know where to start because I don't know how much Kevin paid you to be in this movie, <laughs> but freak boy, you know, like the torture you in, you endured, like yeah. what was your initial reaction to this script or when he even told you about it? Uh, well, he, he emailed me and uh, he, he led with a very flattering letter, which is always always good to do with an actor, uh, you know, it's, that's the way you hook him. Um, he's, and the fact that he even wanted me to do it at all was, was flattering because I'm, uh, I'm a big fan of Kevin's and we had worked together before uh, and I had so much fun in the past working with him. So uh, I was I intrigued uh, to say the least and um, I don't know, I read it and I, it was definitely, uh, you've seen it, it was definitely like bizarre and, and unlike anything I'd read but uh, it was also, I, I read it more as like a potentially great uh, acting challenge. <laughs> you know, that's how I, I read it. It wasn't like, you know, the wa I, in fact, I was telling, I was excited about it. I was telling people and, and I was like, oh, and then he transforms into a walrus. And, eh. and I was talking about it a little bit, like maybe too seriously. And they were like, oh, hold on, he turns into a walrus? It's absurd. Who's going to make that? But, and so it was also just the idea of like, are they going to do that? Like, how can they do that? And there was a sense of curiosity about it. I was in. I was like, I was yeah. nervous. I was like scared, scared about oh, it. Oh, come on. Let's, let's face it. You've never done anything like this. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I have not done. Was, no, you're, no, no, not, a, no, not even the tortured and dodgeball. I'm sorry to say, but come on. No, that, that, that's that, a piece of cake compared to this. Yep. Yeah, that was, that was fairly easy by this by yeah. The standard. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, like and I didn't. I don't know when I was reading. I, it, it didn't occur to me uh, what exactly would be involved. You just read it as uh, like that in the, suit, the suit and like how are they going to? I just like I said. I just as a fan of the genre and of Kevin's, I was just so curious as to how they were going to do it that like uh, I kind of wanted to be there for it. So, so I, I uh, yeah, you were there. I was there. Yeah, you were you were there. How does one prepare? Do, does one go to the zoo? I don't know. Um, <laughs> one probably should go to the zoo. Uh, <laughs> if Daniel Day Lewis were playing the walrus, he probably would have spent you know months living with with them and stuff. Uh, I I watched a lot of YouTube. Um, I actually prepared more f for the the pre walrus, yeah. Um, yeah. and he was a guy. He's a podcaster. He's he's a guy who's. Uh, kind of lost his um, compassion a little bit and in, in, in his humanity and, and he reminded me of um, I thought it'd be I interesting to kind of fashion him after one of those like morning drive time like hey this is uh, there's always like David Cross this comedian says there's always like a crazy guy and a crazier guy you know they have that <laughs> acerbic kind of mean-spirited uh, sense of humor and he's a guy that just kind of makes fun of people for a living yeah. So I, want, I was thinking a lot about that, and and, uh, and I kept and, and a guy who's a great storyteller too. He's a great talker, and Kevin's a great Kevin's a great pod. He's a podcaster. He does that, and and the best talker I've ever known and storyteller is Vince Vaughn. And so I kept returning to Vince, and and you know he, he he's so dynamic, and he can really command a room, and he's got just that way about him. Uh, so I, I was listening to the movie last night, I was watching it the other night with the audience here and I, I kept hearing, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I heard a little bit of Vince uh, in, in the character, you know, he just in terms of somebody who was like able to spin a, spin a yarn and, and, and command a room like that. Um, so I watched a lot of, I don't know, I watched like t t talk radio, I watched movies that reminded me of who this guy was yeah. and listened to a lot of uh, shock jocks, yeah. uh, comedian, uh, comedians who I don't want to name but like who may, who are like that? Yeah, no, it's really it's just fascinating. Where do you go psychologically to play somebody like this? Uh, like before and after. Uh, well, the before is a guy that, um, which was li weirdly liberating and fun to play. Somebody who uh, didn't have much of a censor and didn't uh, feel the need to watch themselves really, uh, and so he, it was, he was just an asshole. It was really fun to play. Um, and, and and I hope it didn't bleed into my my life, but uh, it, it, the walrus part, the more animal transformation part was, uh, I don't know, it was just a very pr primal thing. It reminded me of like uh, a, a lot of acting classes will do this where they, uh, they, they, it, they it seems so like pretentious and, and st stupid, uh, but they have kids like do animal like be animals like they their exercise we're like you know now you're a lion and you're a and it's because that's what I, it's you, I think it's a way to strip everything strip everything away and just kind of connect with a 
your core, primal, whatever. Um, Clearly not an acting teacher, so I can't articulate it properly. But but it reminded me of one of those exercises, and I was in this suit, and just I had to I reach into s somewhere just primal. And I remember shooting it like just wanting uh, having uh, needing water, and then needing to go. I have to pee now. And uh, are we shooting? Okay, and I'm like gonna bark again. And I, I something switched a little bit where it just became my urges urges kind of took over, and um, and that like. You know, I'm somebody who's like, to a fault, I think, a little bit of a like people pleaser, and I, I, I'd fit in in Canada. I'm like constantly apologizing and uh, <laughs> and worried about what people think, you know. And and this was just uh, this was just kind of like uh, I, I became kind of a, I guess, kind of a, a douche a little bit. I guess animals are douchebags. That's what I learned. Walruses are douche. Walruses are kind of douchey. Yeah. <laughs> no, just I, I, it, something took over. I don't know and. I, my, my dog, uh, my girlfriend's dog, came to visit that day, and he freaked out. And he saw me in the in the walrus suit. Really went nuts because he, he I, I called him over. It was mean, actually. Uh, I called him. and He knew my voice, so he came over. And he and there's a there's a bridge in the um, kind of like a, a dungeon in the scene we were doing, and and he just like a cartoon character, like <laughs> like screeched to a halt on the bridge when he saw me. That's not very nice of you, John. Uh, yeah, no. What am I? See, I was a douche. Yeah. I was a. It, it, I was it's a bleeding into real life. Should we continue on? Like, no, it's not us. It's uh, they're asking. Oh, I'm go. They're asking. Oh, okay, sorry. sorry. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I didn't know there was somebody back there. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Well, well, just one more question. So, um, yeah, I take offense. First of all, you, did you learn in your lesson ne never to drink tea at strangers' homes? Yeah. yeah. What? What an idiotic thing. Yeah. I, I drink so much of the tea. <laughs> I kept. I. I, I was. Uh, <laughs> Kevin said, you know, just keep commenting on the tea. How good. Mm, this tea. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, um, I mean, I'm, I, I, I'm a little bit more paranoid than the character yeah, yeah. about that. Uh, and when I would go to the bathroom, I would, I would have left a, a napkin on it or something. <laughs> or notice that he's not drinking the tea. He doesn't drink it once. Seriously, right? See? Yeah. Yeah, you've got to be aware of these things. So what else are we going to see you in? What else is coming up? This is it. This is it's it? Been a, it's yeah. been a fun run. Uh, just signing off. This is... Uh, <laughs> no way. No that's way. What we got We're not stopping. <laughs> got the walrus movie and I'm out. Um... <laughs> Uh, I did, you know, I'm right. I wrote a movie with my brother that uh, I'm gonna try. Hopefully, I'm gonna try to direct uh, as soon as we can. Um, and I did a movie with Emmy Rossum called Comet uh, that is coming out. I don't know. I don't know when. It's IFC. I think. We love Emmy Rossum. You She's should, you great. You should be on Shameless. Oh yeah, I love that show. I I was uh, such a big fan of that show, and, uh, and it was just the two of us. I got to work with her for, for a month, and um, wow. oh, it's a really yeah beautiful little. I mean, I, I think. Oh, well, I'm sure it is. Uh, I look forward to seeing that. I can't wait for audiences to see this. I'm this excited. Awesome. I, I, it's yeah. so fun to talk about. It's. Uh, I, I'm sorry that I can't really encapsulate no. it. No, it's no, a no. weird You're movie. You're great. You're, it's, you, listen, it's, you don't want to tell too much. You, you want, yeah. You, yeah. It's okay. fantastic. Yeah. You did a fantastic job. Okay. A Thank plus you. Sorry. Sorry. A plus plus. You did a great job. Always great talking to you. Thank you Likewise, so thanks. much. Yeah. Appreciate